In this video we share Our Lady of Fatima's decisive appearance to Sister Lucy. May 29, 1930. 13 years after the apparitions to the three little shepherds in the Covada area, 2 kilometers from Fatima. Sister Lucy is 23 years old and is a novice of the Sisters of Santa Dorisha in Tui, Spain. Only she remains, the only one of the three visionaries that the Virgin chose to announce to her world her Immaculate Conception. Her cousins Francisco and Jacinta died two years after the apparitions, Francisco in 1919, his younger sister Jacinta the following year, 1920. The Virgin had announced to the children that she would return to ask for the consecration of Russia to my Immaculate Heart and the Communion of Reparation on the first Saturdays. Which she did for the first time on December 10, 1925 in Pontevedra, where she appeared to Sister Lucy, in her bedroom, to give her the details of this devotion and ask her to start spreading it. You, at least, try to console me and tell all those who for five months, on the first Saturday, go to confession, receive Holy Communion, pray a third part of the Rosary and keep me company for fifteen minutes, meditating on the fifteen mysteries of the Rosary, in order to make amends, I promise to assist you at the hour of death with all the necessary graces for the salvation of your souls. Later, in 1926, still in Pontevedra, it was no longer the Virgin but the child Jesus who appeared to Sister Lucy to confirm the will of heaven to see this devotion extended. And in 1930, the Lord went further by asking Sister Lucy to convey her request to the Holy Father himself. He wants this devotion to become a stable practice, approved, extended and encouraged by the Church. We are in the night of May 28-29, 1930. The Lord confirms the objectives of this practice. Here, my daughter, is the reason why the Immaculate Heart of Mary makes me ask for this small act of reparation, and because of it, more of my mercy to forgive the souls who have had the misfortune to offend her. The Lord had just explained to the young woman the reason for these five Saturdays, because there are five offenses and blasphemies professed against the Immaculate Heart of Mary, against the Immaculate Conception, against her virginity, against her divine motherhood and against the fact that she is the mother of the men. And then there are the blasphemies of those who publicly seek to put in the hearts of children indifference or contempt, or even hatred towards the Immaculate Mother, and the offenses of those who directly outrage her in the holy images of her. Later, Sister Lucy will indicate that it is not enough to do these five Saturdays only once, because every time we do them, we can achieve the conversion of a greater number of sinners says Sister Lucy, the restorative devotion is proposed as a means to convert sinners who are in the greatest danger of being lost, and as a very effective intercession to obtain peace in the world from the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Thus, on October 31, 1942, in the midst of World War II, in a speech broadcast on the radio, Pope Pius XII consecrated the Church and the world to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. On December 8 of the following year he solemnly renewed the consecration. The Germans suffered serious setbacks and the war took a new turn, seen by Sister Lucy as the fruit of this consecration of the Holy Father. Seeing the results obtained, on May 4, 1944, Pope Pius XII decreed that every year, on August 22, the eighth day of the Assumption, the whole Church would celebrate a feast in honor of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Thank you for supporting my channel. May God bless you and keep you. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us.